NBL CEO Larry Sengstock. G'day, Larry. G'day, how are you going? I'm going very well. Are you on 1.8? Pardon? Are you on 1.8 million like Andrew Demetrio? <laughs> <laughs> a, a proportion thereof. A proportion thereof. <laughs> well, all, in, all in good time, Larry. The That's NBL's right, rebuilding, right. and you've good announced on, a new team this year. Thing. You've announced a new team for next year. We have. We uh, we've been uh, very fortunate in uh, in that we're able to announce today that we've got Sydney, a Sydney team joining our league next year. So we will we'll be um, operating with a nine-team competition. So the eight teams we have this year plus uh, a Sydney. So we're now in the uh, in the major market here in Sydney. Is there, so obviously the feasibility studies have gone ahead and the Sydney market is ready again for an NBL team. Look, I, I think so. I think that um, there has certainly always been a, a, a strong support for basketball in, in Sydney. And, uh, and I think the, the fact that uh, you know, we've spent this year really uh, consolidating and getting the confidence back in the league and, and in the support of it. And um, the time's right now to bring that team in and we've got a, a good group of, uh, of people uh, who are prepared to, uh, to put the team together. How long have they got? To, uh, to get the whole structure up and running, and, and who are, are the people fronting that? Well, we're not announcing that at the moment. They're, uh, they're actually, um, we've, we've given them the opportunity to do that themselves and come out with the detail next week, but they're, um, you know, they're, they're, they're well and truly down the path of, of the organisation, and, uh, and as of now, with the announcement of the teams today, the, uh, you know, a lot of our process as far as free agent lists and, uh, and player, player contracts and stuff starts to kick in, so they're, they're, uh, they're going to be um, in the marketplace. So we're just saying at the moment there will be a team. We don't know too much about them, the name yep. of the team, the players. Just we're going to have one. Yes, exactly. So from our point of view, we're we're just wrapped to be able to uh, to announce that we've got a uh, a presence in the in the the major population in Australia, and that's a, that's going to be terrific for for Sydney, but also for the rest of the country and and for basketball. That means Cairns survives. There's been uh, some queries and dark clouds hanging over that franchise for a little while. Yes, there's been a little bit of uh, speculation on that, but um, you know they've certainly. Um, Done all the right things uh, financially. They've now met our met our criteria, but from a um, uh, an engagement of the community and involvement in the community, they've more than ticked the boxes there. They've um, done some fantastic things this year, and uh, and we're very very excited that um, that they're able to uh, to continue on and uh, and and continue with that great work. Has the NBL ever worked with a nine team competition before? <clears throat> Not that I'm aware of. So um, it's something a little bit different. But what we what we are conscious of is is to say that you know we want to make sure we just take this take the steps. Um, in a in a, a controlled way, and uh, and you know to go with nine, and then you know there's no no question that we're we're also looking to fill the market in Brisbane, and uh, and the potential for a second team in Melbourne. So um, those are those are, are goals of ours. So as that as that comes online, then uh, the the competition will increase accordingly. So um, you know we'll go with nine teams, and I think that um, you know we'll end up with a um, a good strong on court presence again this year next year. We were talking uh, during the year about the crowd levels that had gone up at the NBL, which was great news. Did that continue for the remainder of the year through the final series? Certainly, and, and that's another thing that's been, been really encouraging for us is that our grand final series, the, the three games uh, between Wollongong and Perth, were sold out, all three games. So, you know, we, we can't do any better than that. We're, um, we're very, very encouraged by all that. The, the finals now, would uh, still be a final four in the, in the NBL? That's the, yeah, that's the plan at this point in time. There's still, still some, you know, com, some... Uh, that, you know, all got to be ratified and some, uh, some more meetings to be had, but that's certainly the plan. You mentioned the South Dragons before. Obviously, they were the second team in Melbourne. They uh, won the, ch the championship <coughs> last season. Mm -hmm. um, any, you mentioned them possibly coming back in after Brisbane and, and one of the other regions you mentioned. How yep. soon could we expect the South Dragons? There is a Save, Save Our South Dragons group going around at the moment. How soon before they might enter the, the fray again? Look, we, we had discussions with, with a group that, um, that potentially would have... Uh, would reactivate uh, that that franchise or, or a similar franchise in in, uh, in Melbourne this year, um, but we decided that um, give it another 12 months and um, and you know continue to work with them, the same group, and uh, and and see what happens and uh, and see if we can get it get it together. But you know our, our big focus is to make sure that the teams that come in are, are the right teams and are sustainable. So the model is is correct. So we want to make sure rather than rather than just sort of jump. Um, um, half half baked. We want to make sure that everything's in place. So when when the supporters buy their singlets and buy their uniforms to go and watch their teams play, then uh, they know that those uniforms are going to last them for a long time because they're going to be supporting their team for a long time. Well, that's the yeah, that's the idea. That's the uh, benefit for everyone. That mm -hmm. is from an overall perspective, Larry. Uh, your view of of the competition. Uh, obviously, it was in a of dire straits uh, at the end of last season. 
it's been a really good resurgence from what I can see. I'm not in, involved day to day like you are, but from your your day to day overall view, what is it to, for the fans out there? Yeah, look, I, I think that that's, that we've had a, a terrific year. Um, you know, we we need to be patient in the fact that you know we've we've got many more things to do, but we're we're making making the right steps and making uh, control steps forward. And uh, you know, our, our big goal this year was to. to to regain the confidence and the trust of, of people right across the board, and I think that we've we've managed to do that, and uh, and now getting a group to uh, to put a team in Sydney is uh, is very much part of that uh, that confidence building. Now it's gone from strength to strength, uh, Larry, and we know that it's been a tough road. But uh, you, like the, the board there at Basketball Australia and the NBL, have done a great job. And we congratulate you for that, and hope that uh, the nine team competition works, and we can get get it back up to twelve very very soon. Thanks for your good, time today. Good on you, mate. Thanks.